Good morning, everybody. My name is Mrs. Eve, and today I want to talk about animal tales. You know, this year's summer reading program is called Tales and Tales, and that got me thinking about animal tales, which of course then sent me to the library to read up on some of these animals' tales. Because I was wondering, do all animals have the same kind of a tail? No, of course not. And, and do all animals use their tails in the same way? Actually, I found out they don't. And can we sometimes identify an animal by just looking at its tail? <laughs> I think you'll probably agree that yes, we can. And so I've got a little game for us this morning. I've brought my woodland bag and in this bag, I have some different animals. And I wanna see if you can help me decide what the animal is just by looking at its tail. So first up is, ooh, what is this? It's sort of bushy and it's, oh my gosh, it's fat. And it's connected to oh, a body of a squirrel. It's a squirrel's tail. Do you ever want, like to watch squirrels scampering around in the trees in your yard? Well, squirrels can use their tails to help them balance on those limbs. But sometimes even a squirrel will miss his step and fall. And in that case, the squirrel can use his tail like a parachute to help break his fall. So when he hits the ground, <laughs> he doesn't hurt himself so badly. A squirrel can actually shunt blood out of its body when it's really hot in the summer. It shunts it out of its body into its tail to cool its body. And then that heats up its tail, which is kind of funny. It can sleep with its tail curled around it to help keep it warm. So a squirrel's tail is very useful for a lot of things. If it sees danger, it'll flick it and that'll warn other squirrels in the area to look out, there's something to beware of. So anyway, I have a song about a squirrel. Maybe you can help me sing this. Let's put the squirrel right here. It's a song that I used to sing with my Girl Scout troop. It's called Gray Squirrel. So put your little paws out like this and it goes like this. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel. And now shake your bottom, shake your bushy tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your funny nose. Put a nut between your toes. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. <laughs> I love that song. That brings back lots of good memories. Let's see what else is in here. Hmm. Oh, this is odd. This is just a little bit of a powder puffy tail. Huh. It's got white on the bottom and brown on the top. What, what kind of an animal has a powder puff for a tail? If you guessed rabbit, then you are so right. Oh, this cute little rabbit. You know, there are stories about how rabbit lost his tail. Maybe you could go to the library and find one. But a rabbit uses his tail to get away from danger sometimes. You see the little white on the bottom? Well, a rabbit might be out in the grass eating and suddenly it pricks up its ears because it hears a noise and it knows something is coming. Something is a predator and it wants to get away. So it starts to hop away and then it flicks its tail with this white and that, that makes the predator lose sight of it for just a moment so it can scamper in a different direction and get away. What a great use for a tail. So that is a rabbit's tail, and I've got a song about a rabbit's tail, because it does look like a little powder puff. It goes like this. A rabbit's nose is all shiny. Can you point to your own nose? I'm telling you this as a friend. The reason his nose is so shiny. His powder puff's at the wrong end. Wrong end, wrong end, wrong end. His powder puffs at the wrong end, wrong end, wrong end, wrong end. His powder puffs at the wrong end, wrong end. <laughs> hey, is my nose a little shiny? Maybe I'll use this powder puff. Wipe off that shine. <laughs> so let's see, we've got a squirrel and we've got a rabbit. 
<laughs> that rabbit doesn't quite want to stand. There we go. Let's see what else we can find in this bag of mine. Hmm. What is this? Oh my goodness. It's a skinny, ugly sort of a tail. What could this belong to? You thinking a rat? Well, it, you know, it could be a rat's tail, but in this case, it is a possum. Oh my goodness. Possums are the sweetest, cutest little critters, I think. Oh, they are marsupials. You know, a possum is the only marsupial found in North America. Marsupials are generally found in Australia. And a marsupial is an animal that carries its baby in a pouch on its tummy. <laughs> like kangaroos are marsupials too. So, possums' tails are not like rats because rats have bones in their tails and possums' tails are all muscle. They're prehensile tails, which means they can use their tail as a fifth appendage. Two arms, two legs, and a tail makes five appendages. They can pick up twigs and leaves with their tail, and they can use their tail to help them climb up trees because they are very good tree climbers. You know, there's a story, it's a Cherokee story, about why possum's tail is so ugly and bare. And I'd like to share that with you all right now. You see, once upon a time, Possum had a tail that was beautiful. Oh, he was so proud of his tail. He was always bragging, oh, look at my tail. It's so bushy, it's so silky, it's so smooth. It's colored like the rainbow. Oh, my tail is divine. He was always bragging about his tail and all the other animals got very tired of hearing his bragging. Well, one day, they decided to have a council meeting the next night. And at this council meeting, everybody was gonna be able to dance and show off their tails. And of course, that's something that Possum would want to come to. But Rabbit wanted to make double sure. And so Rabbit came knocking at Possum's door. Hey, Possum, are you coming to the council meeting tomorrow night? Well, yeah, I think so. Um, I'll surely come if you'll let me sit in the front so everybody can see my beautiful tail. Oh, I'll make sure of that, said Rabbit. In fact, I'll send Cricket the barber over to take care of your tail and make sure that it looks just perfect for tomorrow night's festivities. Oh, well, that'd be so nice, said Possum. And so Rabbit hopped away and found Cricket and sent Cricket over to Possum's house. Well, Cricket came with all his barber materials, his combs and his brushes and his salves. Ooh, and then he started combing Possum's tail. And he was just a humming, and Possum got so relaxed, Possum fell asleep. And as soon as Possum was asleep, Cricket pulled out his scissors and he started snipping all the hair off Possum's tail. He snipped, 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 snipped until the tail was bald. And then he took out a piece of satin ribbon and he wrapped up the tail. He woke up Cricket. I mean, he woke up Possum. He said, hey, Possum, wake up. Okay, your tail is just gorgeous now. And keep it wrapped until tomorrow at the council meeting. And then when you're ready to dance, unwrap your tail and we are gonna be so excited to see how beautiful it looks. And Possum said, well, thank you very much, Cricket. Okay. So the next night, Possum went to that council meeting. He sat and he waited very patiently and it, it was his turn to dance. He stood up, he unwrapped his tail without looking at it. And then he started to dance. Oh, look at my tail. It's so beautiful. The fur so bushy and silky sweet. All the animals started giggling. Possum didn't know why they were laughing, but he kept on dancing. 
The colors of the rainbow are so fine. They look very divine. Well, now the animals were laughing and laughing and laughing. And Possum turned around and he looked at his tail. <gasps> he was so shocked at that ugly, ugly tail. What had happened to his tail? He fainted on his back. Well, when he woke up, he turned around and he slunk away very, very, very embarrassedly. But to this day, possums have really ugly bear tails. And to this day, when a possum gets embarrassed, he falls over in a dead faint. And that's called playing possum when you're pretending to be dead. And so that is why possum's tail, tail is bear, according to the Cherokees. Oh, fun, 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 fun. Let's see if we have anything left, left in this bag. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm not sure I want to pull this one out. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Do you recognize this tail? It's black and it's white and it's... Oh, Pee, it's a stinky kind of a tail. and they're very soft and very cuddly. But a skunk uses its tail to ward off predators. If something wants to eat it or he feels threatened, he will lift his tail in the air. And if he has to, he will spray. Psst. Something called musk. And that musk, he can spray it for 50 feet away which is like three times as tall as I am and it smells so bad I'll pee you you can smell it for over a half of a mile away it smells so bad so if he gets scared he thinks something's gonna eat him he starts stomping his feet stomp 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 but if that something doesn't go away he stands on his hands he lifts his tail and he goes Whatever it is, is very, very sorry that it didn't run away. You might imagine that there aren't many things that are going to want to eat a skunk because it does have such a terrible odor. There are some birds like owls and hawks that will eat skunks, but even snakes stay away from skunks because snakes can smell too. I've got one more song to share with you guys before we leave. This one's about a skunk, of course. <laughs> and it goes like this. Make a hole in the ground with your hands like this. And here we go. Oh, I stuck my head in a little skunk's hole. And the little skunk said, well, bless my soul. Take it out, take it out, take it out. Remove it. Well, I didn't take it out. And the little skunk said, if you don't take it out, you'll wish you had. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. I removed it. <laughs> so, I've had so much fun talking with you about different animals' tales today, and I'll look forward to seeing you again very soon. In the meantime, stay well, everybody. Mwah. Love you all.